Hi, this is Sam from Colasoft. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new feature of COPSA 7.2, IAM Monitor. IAM Monitor is very useful in helping us audit and monitor instant messenger communications in the network. IAM Monitor is very easy to use, which doesn't require much setup. With COPSA, we can monitor communications of MSN, aka Live Messenger, and Yahoo Messenger. In this video, I'll show you how to monitor IAM activities, and save the messages to a local file as well. I have to stress that, this functionality is designed for network management, please don't use it for malicious purposes. Here we already have a MSN account logged in, and we see a buddy, call a soft test, is available. Then, let's run COPSA. Now we see the start page. To monitor IAM messages, we need first to enable the IAM analysis modules in the analysis profiles, because none of them are enabled by default. Double-click an analysis profile to change the profile settings. There are two IAM modules, MSN and Yahoo. Let's enable them all. On the other hand, we can create a new analysis profile only used to monitor IAM messages. Right-click anywhere in this section and choose New from the context menu. We name the new profile IAM Monitor, and only enable the MSN and Yahoo analysis modules. That's all the settings we need to take. Now, select the analysis profile we need, and start a capture. The main window is initiated, and we'll skip these views and directly go to the Log tab which holds the IAM Monitor results. In this tab, We'll see two IAM logs, MSN log and Yahoo log. Both of them are empty right now. Let's try to say hello to Colosoft test on MSN. Let's go back to COPSA. Here we go. We get some records here. We can read that we started a chat. Look at that, my hello is recorded. Also we can read its time, my account and the receiver's account. Look, he says hello back to me. Furthermore, we can click the column headers to rearrange the records to help us analyze the records. So, by this way, COPSA is able to monitor all IAM activities in your network segment. And we can save these records to a CSV file. Click the export icon, and give the file a name. We can open the CSV file with Excel to make a deeper analysis. What if we are not around? Is COPSA able to auto-save the messages down to a file? No problem at all. Click the Log Settings icon, and click the Save Log File button. A new dialog box appears. Check Save to Disk. There are two ways to save logs. The single file is that all messages will be saved into a single file. While the multiple files will save the messages into multiple files. We will go with this one. First choose a folder to hold the files. Then enter the prefix for their names. And then decide how to split logs, say we split by every one day. If we just want to save the latest files, we should check this and enter a number, say 30. We can read that we save every day's messages into a file, and just keep the latest 30. We'll get the messages of the past 30 days. Then click OK to finish the settings. Now. Any message goes from or to your network will be logged into a log file. If you just get messages from your machine, that's because you didn't deploy COPSA properly. You can find help on our website to learn how to deploy COPSA. This is the end of the demonstration. Thanks for watching.